Welcome back, and today we're going to talk about a speedway rider. But first, we want to thank you for subscribing to the blog. We have now about 400 subscribers, and we appreciate it very much. And today we're going to talk about a speedway rider from England. His name is Kenny Carter. He was born March 28, 1961, in Halifax, England. Kenny was a world-class speedway rider, and his real name was Kenneth, not Kenny. They just called him Kenny because Kenny is short for Kenneth. And he raced for several speedway teams. Halifax was his home team. That's where his birthplace was. He raced for the team for many years, and he raced for Newcastle. 1986 was Kenny's last year racing speedway in the British League. But going back to 1981, Kenny raced his first world championship at Wembley Stadium before 92,500 screaming fans. That was the last time they held that event at Wembley. It makes you wonder why they closed that because they had 92,500 screaming fans. That year he got fifth place. And Bruce Penhall, Bruce the Fox Penhall, he won the world championship, his first of two world championships. In 1981 and 1982, Kenny won the British League Championship Cup. He was the championship in both years in the British League. Kenny was an amazing rider, but he had a lot of problems off the speedway track. He was a good rider on the track, but off the track, he had many problems. And some say he had a serious mental problems. Even his own teammates didn't like him. One time he won a championship with a broken leg. And his teammates gave him hell for racing with a broken leg. People just didn't like Kenny, especially even his own teammates they had the World Championship event. It was held in Los Angeles at the LA Coliseum in Los Angeles, California. And Kenny was in that event with Bruce Penhall. But Kenny had a few problems. He actually touched the tapes in one event and the referee kicked him out. And Kenny got on the phone and said, hey man, you're wrecking my chances at a World Championship. And the referee said, who cares? And Kenny just started protesting. He wouldn't leave the track. And Ivan, the great major, his manager and security guards had to come and get Kenny off the track. He was really pissed off and going mental. Another time that night in the 1982 World Championship is when Kenny and Bruce Penhall were dicing it out. They were hitting, riding speedway, bumping and grinding each other. It was just speedway and in one turn it was like three and four, Kenny fell down and he blamed Bruce Penhall. Bruce did not touch him. We all saw the tapes. Kenny was just mad. He blaming Bruce for touching him and wrecking his chance at the title. I think his chances were already gone. Kenny was just pissed off and Bruce Penhall really didn't touch him. And Kenny was blaming somebody and it was Bruce Penhall. Kenny and Bruce just did not like each other. Bruce didn't like Kenny and Kenny didn't like Bruce. As Speedway Riders, we know that all the riders don't get along all the time. When Kenny was protesting at the Los Angeles Coliseum, 40,000 screaming Bruce Penhall fans were booing Kenny Carter. They just didn't like his attitude at all, including Bruce Penhall. However, Kenny got revenge of sorts. In 1983, he won the Best Pairs World Championship with Peter Collins. 1986 was Kenny's last year of racing Speedway before he had passed away. He raced for the Bradford Dukes for that just a year. And on May 21st, 1986, Kenny got really jealous and mad at his wife. He accused her of cheating. And usually you like divorce the girl or whatever. But Kenny got a little crazy and he went ahead and shot his wife and he shot himself. Sad to say that was the end of Kenny Carter and we just feel so sad that all this happened. In the speedway world is still shocked to this day that Kenny would do such a thing. That was the end of Kenny Carter. It came as a big surprise, a total shock. He had such an amazing talent and to do such a thing is unthinkable. It seems like Kenny was haunted with the demons in his mind and it's very sad.